Happy Sunday. So has there ever been a time in world history where people have, humans have looked at each other and viewed each other as equals, all of us? I, I don't think so. I'm not a historian, but not to my knowledge. In America, we stated an ideal Everyone is to be created equal, but immediately, we even within that context, within that time frame, we started to look down upon others. Classes of people, uh, the haves and haves nots, the indigenous, indigenous people of America, we took their land, um, we had slaves, and now we have social classes. We live in an oligarchy for the most part. We have become that which we separated from. It's insane. So how do we, I, I, <laughs> how do we break that pattern? What is the, um, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. The social fabric of the world we live in demands to be rewritten if we are to create a space of equality. Because within that word equality <clears throat> matches the word unconditional, right? Which is a huge scope to think about. Well, to unconditionally care for something or unconditionally love something is huge. To love something within failure, to love something within success, to love something without expectation, it's very big. To love something as if it were you, but to love yourself unconditionally, that's the big ask, right? To do you love yourself unconditionally? Standard answer is of course, but when we look at our actions and we see how we treat ourselves, how we treat others, isn't that on a long enough timeline, a mirror of how we truly think of ourselves, our shadow selves or who we truly are? There's a lot in that. A lot in that for a Sunday morning. <laughs> Unconditional. Equality. I would love to think that we as a species are ready for equality. It's a... It's a big thing to embrace. I don't know. I can hope. So what do we do in the interim? We work towards that, right? We smile. We love the one we're around, we're with ourselves. Practice. All of it's practice. Much love. <laughs>